With these four analysis sets set up, let's click OK. Yes, we want to analyze. We're just analyzing static, and we can click OK. We're going to have a couple of warnings pop up. The first one being that we have a cut short analysis in our analysis. And it's important because the code states that we cannot use cut short results for our piping stress results. Uh, but we do want to use cut short results for our non-code stress results like support forces and nozzle loads. So this warning is just to make sure that we know that we shouldn't be using them in our code stress results. And we'll see this a couple of times as it runs through the different analysis sets. So we can just click OK. The next warning tells me that there's no temperature case for the nonlinear hydro test, which we did set up that way, so we can click OK. Again, we see the cut short warning. We can click OK. And again. The next warning is a, telling us that we have a V-stop liftoff occurring under one of our operating load cases. So we can look into that in more detail in a moment. We can click OK. Again, the cut short warning. Click OK. And lastly, another V-stop liftoff warning. So again, we can click OK. When the analysis is done, we had all of those warning messages pop up and we have the ability to review the warning messages in a report format if we wish to do so. So if I were to click yes, all you'll see is the same warnings listed in a report format. So I'll close that out. Now we did have a warning about VSTOP liftoff that I wanna investigate a bit. So I can do that by coming to my result ribbon tab and under quick reports, I'm gonna select output report. At the top, I want to check on where it says to apply a filter criteria, and I want to set this filter up for my supports. Up at the top, I'm going to select the option for select liftoff supports and click OK. This will filter out my support subreport, so I'm going to move the code compliance and the analysis summary reports out of the selected reports for right now. I'm just focusing on my support subreport, and I'll click OK. So as I scroll down through this sub-report, what I see is that the support is lifting off in my analysis set two and in my analysis set three. I don't care too much about the details. My goal is to just uh, run a second analysis for each of these with the support liftoff uh, removed. So I know I have to set up Two more analysis sets with their support liftoff removed for analysis set two and analysis set three. So I'll close this out. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.